Hi, I'm Alex from Speedify, and I'm here to tell you how you can use Speedify to combine two Wi-Fi connections together into one faster, more reliable internet connection using Speedify. I assume you have Speedify installed already. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need after that is a USB Wi-Fi card. See, the Wi-Fi card built into your laptop can only connect to one Wi-Fi at a time. But you can go online at one of many online stores, buy a USB adapter for, you know, often $20 or less. You get it and you install it just by plugging it in to your uh, laptop. Uh, most Wi-Fi adapters these days, either the drivers are on Windows already or Windows will just download it and install it. Occasionally, there'll be, you know, a driver you need to download and install. But in general, this card, um, E-D-U-P, e -dupe. I didn't have to install anything. I just plugged it in. As you see, it showed up. So let's look a little more closely at my screen here. So this is Speedify, and as soon as I plugged in that card, you can see the, the second Wi-Fi appeared. Uh, it connected to the same Wi-Fi network that the first one was on. So this isn't doing me a lot of good just yet. Right, I've got two connections, the same Wi-Fi network, which are going up the same Comcast cable modem in this case. And uh, it's not really giving me a speed boost. So I click down here by the, the tray icon. And you see where there's the Wi-Fi symbol. You click on that. And now, I don't know if you notice a subtle difference from the way this normally looks in Windows. There's this combo box that appears when you have more than one Wi-Fi card. And it shows both Wi-Fi cards. And in fact, if you have USB hub and you plug in three more USB Wi-Fi cards, you could have four Wi-Fi cards here. So Wi-Fi is the Wi-Fi that comes built in. And if I choose Wi-Fi 2, this is the, the second one, the USB one I plugged in. So I can choose a different hotspot. Uh, I happen to know that this Pixel is my Android phone. So I can put in my password and you'll notice now that that wi-fi card isn't connected anymore it's disappeared out of speedify's user interface because it's no longer usable internet connection but in a second or two that card connects and now you see i have once again two connections uh, so the built-in wi-fi is connected to this connectify 5g2 network and the usb one is connected to the, the pixel one um, priority on all these Wi-Fi always come up as primary. That means it's okay to use it all the time. So if you're connecting to, you know, a Wi-Fi that's connected to a cable modem or fiber optic or even a DSL, where there's no cost to use it, use it all you want. That's fine. That's why it's the default. If you happen to know, as I do, that's a cellular connection, then you might want to pick secondary. So this tells Speedify to use it just a little bit less than the other Wi-Fi's. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. And so that's it. I now have two Wi-Fi's. And if I go ahead and do a live stream test, which tests, you know, what kind of bandwidth I can get, as you see, it's immediately using both connections at once. It's, us it's using the built-in Wi-Fi to that that. Uh, cable modem and and it's using the Wi-Fi off to the pixel and it's giving me a real speed and reliability boost And it's fantastic. I Hope you found this helpful uh, Check out our other videos. We've got a lot more tips out there for you Bye-bye 4k support looks good. Thanks Speedify. Thank you.